You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Mystery Girls After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Mystery Girls After Show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to After Buzz TV. This is the Mystery Girls After Show, and as you can tell by the nice song from Vitamin C, tonight's episode five, and it's high school mystery. So we go back to high school in tonight's episode with Holly and Charlie. And what are your guys' first reactions to tonight's episode? She graduated. No, my first reaction... I love that they, again, brought back somebody from like a reference, although this was the actual person. They brought back Nat from the Peach Pit and they even reference it, um, bringing him on the show. So that's kind of fun that they have this avenue to bring in people that they worked with. You know, I wonder if we'll see any more of the 90210 cast Mm -hmm. on more of the episodes. Yep. And go ahead and introduce yourself for everybody out there as well. I am Courtney Henderson. And I'm Michelle Fee. And I'm Heather Joy Smith. And Michelle, um, what were your thoughts on tonight's episode? I thought it was really cute. Like, I really enjoyed it. Um, I didn't realize that so many kids would think Holly was a high school student. I thought they would, you know, like, first off, they would be like, no, like, you're not. You're too old for this. (laughs) But they, like, (laughs) they really, like, embraced her. And I really enjoyed that. I thought it was so cute. Yeah. And it's definitely, like, a reoccurring theme throughout this entire show of Holly wanting to be young again. Mm -hmm. And tonight, I felt like... Her, like, dream of going back to high school really came true for her. <laughs> so, I oh, think it's yeah. a reoccurring, like, thing in all of the episodes. Like, she just yeah, wants yeah. to, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. So, tonight's episode started out with Mr. Frost, who is Hi- Holly's ex-high school principal, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. And he has a mystery for the girls to solve tonight. And so, Charlie and Holly come to his rescue and go back to high school. And it starts out with them trying to decide what roles they're going to play. And I thought it was really funny that Holly told Charlie that she should be the lunch lady because clearly that was kind of a dig. Too sexy? Yeah. yeah. No. 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 Really? Her nuts so, are not cute. So she picks the gym teacher, uh-huh. which is funny. And they addressed it later in the episode. But, you know, there's always that stereotype that a female uh, gym teacher is a lesbian Mm -hmm. and so she was kind of playing into that because charlie clearly didn't know that that's a stereotype out there (laughs) and so but later in the episode they said something about you know her not knowing anything about dudes Uh you know Uh uh but so i'm like okay they're acknowledging that that's the stereotype and that's kind of the jab holly was making it Mm -hmm. being the the gym teacher it was cute to see Holly's little outfits that she decided to wear to class because it reminded me so much of Cher from Clueless. <laughs> really? I I was thinking like Drew Barrymore. I can't think of the name of the movie, but she oh, goes never back been to Never Been Kissed. Never Been Kissed, yes. yes. I was just like, well, the outfits were very Clueless. Very. You're right. Yeah. Her outfit was very Clueless. But her personality, I would but, go back to the Drew. <laughs> yeah, where she like didn't fit in at yeah. all kind of a thing. And it's kind of funny actually because like in Never Been Kissed, her brother had to come back to college, too, uh-huh. to, like, make her cool. And Charlie had to kind of take a little bit of a beating in yeah. the gym class to me make her cool uh-huh. kind of thing. So it took it takes a second person. Don't go back to high school by yourself is what the moral of the story <laughs> <Yeah>. is. <laughs> so let's go into that real quick because we had a moment there in gym class with Holly and Charlie where... Holly wasn't exactly getting the notoriety that she really wanted in this high school right off the bat, which I think she thought she was going to get. And so, like you said, Charlie had to take a beating where Holly was like, no, I will not do that for you or whatever, and gave her complete attitude. And I think Charlie said she's like, uh, like, didn't even know what to say because she didn't want to, like, make her run and do push-ups and stuff because that's her friend. But at the same time, like... I think she knew she, what Got she it. was yeah. doing. Yeah. Well, and you know, it's it's Holly. You know, she would never do that if mm-hmm. it wasn't for 
being friends with her. You yes. know what I mean? She uh-huh. probably never talked like that. Maybe she did, I guess, because she was like one of the cool girls. But she said she never had a normal high school, which is yeah, why she didn't true. graduate because she was doing the whole famous thing that she so desperately continues to want to have. Uh-huh. So. Um, next up, we have the jocks. And so the, one of the reasons why Charlie went in and was the gym teacher was because they figured, oh, the jocks will be the ones that are going to be doing the pranks. Which actually goes back to Mr. Frost, or the whole mystery was because Mr. Frost is going to be retiring and he was afraid that the senior prank was going to be on him for the graduation. So they decide in gym, after gym class to go through all the jocks' backpacks and they happen to find some diagrams <laughs> like i mean yeah. who really leaves all their backpacks out like that though it's kind of funny. Like, like, don't where they have are they, they? Where were are they, they in the shower like after gym class yeah. were they out like on the football field like where were they i don't know and since when were gym class like boys uh, like boys and girls, and girls. Oh, yeah. not yeah. co-ed like my gym classes were all co-ed yeah and we did not bring our backpacks to gym class no. <laughs> true like i mean you had a locker for that exactly, exactly. So, but like, you know, this is this is Peach, not Peach Pit. This is Mystery Girls. <laughs> I'm still thinking about Nat. It was so fun to see him again. So. so while they're going through the backpacks, they do find in one of them a diagram of glue and feathers and this whole senior prank that they're gonna do on Mr. Frost. And so they have to go and figure out whose backpack this is and. And all of yeah, this. and it said something like it was Gretchen's book inside. Oh of yeah, it. like and so like, they thought she was behind it, but it's like, what was whatever Jock whoever's back? What is he doing with Gretchen's book? Exactly, that's the same you thing know what I, I mean? thought. Is wasn't this the guy's gym class? And then they were going through the Jock's backpacks, but then it's Gretchen's book. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But the thing that I found the most interesting was the the prank was to be tarred and feathered. Mm-hmm. You know, so they're using glue and feathers, obviously not actual tar. But so many of the episodes' references were, like, young again. You know, like, um, at some point, Nick talks about the Fonz, and Holly's like, I don't know who that is. I'm young, you know? (laughs) Yes. And then, you know, they bring back when they were on 90210, and they have Nat. And and tar and feathering just seems like a very old Old. thing. Like, you know, historically accurate that that was something that happened, but it's not it's not common, you know, in those teenagers' lifetime. So it just was kind of an interesting, why did they choose to do Tar and Feather? Because it's such, like, an old Do you think thing. they're trying to make a point that they're so old? And so they maybe. brought, like, this really old, historically <laughs> old prank? Or uh, Maybe that's why. Because it was just, like, everything they talk about is, like, young, you know, or referencing, like, all these old things. Mm-hmm. And yet that was sort of just, like, teenagers today... I don't. I think some probably wouldn't even know what that is. No, you know what I mean. So I would be interested to know. You know, from our viewers, like, did you know what that is, and how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, most of our viewers are probably in that high school demographic. So let us know. Yeah. Um. So they do find the diagram in Gretchen's book, and so they decide that they're gonna go. St- snooping in her locker and so holly's having a rough time trying to get into the locker and here comes nick to the rescue he's like boom boom boom, like opens right up (laughs) like yeah that was some talent yeah it's like i feel like you had to explain to somebody many times how to get you out of the locker that's what i was thinking too i was like how does he know this? Because he wasn't he the one in the locker? Yeah, I see. <laughs> I'm glad, like, so, like yeah. his, his character execution is right on because we're thinking the same thing yeah. about about which side of the locker his character would be on. <laughs> so we do find the feathers and the glue in Gretchen's locker, and before, <laughs> just so funny. I was like perfectly stacked. It was in there. perfectly like, stacked in there, like the worst, all neat and perfect. The worst way to put, like, how did you get it in there with no one seeing? Yeah. Because there and was where a were lot. her books? Exactly. You know, like the, in the guy's backpack. In the guy's backpack, <laughs> she had to okay, hide them true. somewhere else because right. her locker was full of <laughs> glue. <laughs> uh. So, just as Gretchen's about to walk up, Holly slams the locker, and there's Gretchen, like. Oh, Holly, I want to tell you. Or no, Holly says to Gretchen, I want to tell you something or let's, yeah. let's divulge our You deepest. can tell me anything. <laughs> yeah, you can. I, you know, like, so um, what did Holly tell her was her secret? That she's really 19. Yeah. That's right. That she was seven, held back. Or, yeah. yeah, that she I'm was like, held back to yours. It's like, um, okay. Not buying it. No. But. <laughs> but good right. try. Good try. 
And so Gretchen says, well, there is something I want to tell you. And she gives her, like, a BFF pink bracelet. <laughs> I thought then that uh, Holly was no longer going to be helpful to yeah. solve the mystery. Like, because they said, you know, once you get the bracelet, you know, we have each other's back. Mm -hmm. So oh, I thought yeah. that... It was going to be, and we kind of said, you know, she started to say things like, I'm trying to prove that Gretchen isn't in on this because this is her second, her second closest friend or her second yeah. best friend or whatever, you know, however she worded yeah. it. Um, and it's like, were you trying to say Charlie's your actual best friend? Like without directly saying it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or is there somebody totally different that you were thinking? But like maybe Nick? Maybe. So, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, so she gets she gets the secret from Gretchen, not the one she wanted. Yep. But um, Charlie and then Holly are talking about how they've actually caught her now, and they know that she's the one who's behind this whole senior prank. And uh, to your point, it kind of, I think Holly at this point was like, but I have an, a friend, and I, I don't want to, like, break that <laughs> relationship up. And I think she at that point she was, like, legit thinking, like, no, I want to be Gretchen. Like yeah. It's like, really? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what, 30-something? Come on. Yeah, it's time to move on. Well, and, time to move and on. And Charlie, I think, I think Jenny Garth did a really great job in this role. I was fun to watch her be this gym teacher mm -hmm. because I don't want to say she did a, job, a bad job acting, but it was just so, it just was like her obviously out of her element, you know, playing uh -huh. this, you know, like, this, like, butch female yeah. gym teacher. Like, she's not butch, you know, she's... Absolutely, just very feminine. Like even the outfit she was wearing was supposed to be like butch, but <laughs> she looked cute. adorable. It was very cute. Yeah, yeah. It was so cute. Um, you know, but then she's like playing this like tough face. You know, so I, that was fun to see her do. Yep. Before we go on and tell everyone what happens at the very end, we want to make sure that everybody goes on to iTunes and rate us five stars and make sure to comment on our YouTube videos when those get posted, and we will comment back. So yeah, yes, thanks. we will. We appreciate all your five stars for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, so moving on to the very last um, scene, or not the very last scene, but the end of the high school experience for Holly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they decide that they are going to get back at Gretchen for this ta or glue and feathering prank that they were going to do. And so they decide to give her the Hottie Award. And oh, yes. I think, I'm not sure if they had maybe set up, like, um, a bucket above where the podium was going to be because she looked up, like, no, no, I'm not going to go That's where she there. put it. That's where she put it. For the okay, principal. For the principal. Okay. So she didn't want to stand there. She didn't want to stand there. And just in case they, they were trying to make the point that because she wouldn't stand there, she must have known about wh why was, you wouldn't okay. want to yeah. stand there. Yeah. Yeah. So she ends up leaving, and as soon as she walks out of the gym, <laughs> like, you see all the feathers come that through. That actually really surprised me. I, I wasn't did too. expecting I was it to not. be there. I thought that would be like the end of them giving her a lesson because uh -huh. she had walked out away from the podium. I totally thought. Got yeah. <laughs> Good job, writers. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they did a great job on that one. I was they not did. expecting that. And the funny thing is she actually comes in looking like a chicken and accepts her award regardless. <laughs> right? And it was like, all right, whatever. I am the hottie. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't drop it again on her. I know. It was, it was right her. there. They should have done that. That would have been so good. She got a double. But after this, um, Nick and Holly then kind of have a moment before they leave the high school. Which I loved. Well, this is yeah. so sweet. And earlier in the episode, she makes the comment, you know, that she likes these people and she, you know, she likes this mm -hmm. high school experience, aside from not getting a normal one, but because they like her for her. Not for being Holly Hamilton, mm -hmm. Mystery Girls, right. celebrity, you know, actress. But at the same time, I'm, like, thinking, at, when she first said that, I was like, wait a second. They don't, like, give her who you are. You're twice their age yeah. and lying about basically everything. Exactly. So, but the point was about the fame, which for her, mm -hmm. being kind of so fame-crazed, it was kind of this, like, surprising little twist. And, like, gave a little character depth to, you know, to mm -hmm. Holly. You know, it's yeah. like, her heart's a little bit deeper than we thought. <laughs> just a little. Just, you're just a little. Just a for little. Now. For, for now. For now. For yeah. now. But yeah, so I mean, she I think was worried, and not like a huge way, but I think in the back of her mind, she was worried that Nick was only there because she was famous and he was a big fan of Mystery Girls. But then he said, you know, no, that's not the reason. You gave an interview and said something about being yourself, and I wrote it down. It it so the quote was, "Don't let anyone tell you who you are. Live your own truth." 
Yes. And I got teary eyes. I, I did love too. I did too. Uh, it, was it was so, so cute. sweet. I'm like, this is supposed to be a sitcom. We're supposed to be laughing. <laughs> but it's amazing that they can do that to us mm-hmm. in, you know, 22 minutes of airtime. That they can yeah. take us from like laughing and crying because there were great jokes in there yeah. too that you know make us laugh and then at the end you kind of bring it all back to something that's a little bit bigger and more meaningful mm-hmm. which we haven't really seen in an episode before. I mean, yes, there's yeah. like a moral story and the mystery is solved, but that went a lot deeper than we've seen on the show. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I thought it was a really sweet moment between the two of them, and and I'm curious if this is gonna maybe go on and further episodes, you know, maybe them getting closer and actually having a nice little tight bond and stuff. So it should be interesting how their relationship goes on. Yeah, it's not just going to be like fun, surface, social, mm-hmm, that it, mm-hmm. it goes deeper. Yeah, that'll yeah. be fun to see. But then they obviously had to end the episode with a funny moment <laughs> right. where uh, Gretchen then gets back at, <laughs> at Charlie and feathers her entire car. <laughs> yes. Which they didn't show us. No, I would have liked to see that. Nice yeah. See that. That would have been funny. <laughs> would have been kind of a big thing to do for like a half a second clip at the very end of yeah. the episode. So, so do you guys have any news or gossip for today? I'll share one thing. After Buzz TV News. So we are trying to get Nick Diaz in studio. Um, I've been talking to their PR people and I talked to him today and he says that there's been a delay but that they are working on it. So, keep your fingers crossed that we can get Miguel in studio and he is nominated for a Teen Choice Award for Male Breakout Star. So, go and vote for him. You can vote once a day and we would love to see him get that award for this show. He's my favorite part of the show. Mm -hmm. Such a great character. Executed perfectly Mm -hmm. so go vote for him um for the teen choice award male breakout star yay that's all i got so all right so let everybody know where they can find you guys on social media oh well you can find me um on twitter and instagram at underscore michelle fee i can be found on twitter and instagram at cohen c-o-u-h-e-n and you can find me on twitter and on instagram at heather joy smith thanks everybody we'll see you next week Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. <laughs>